Uganda's urban population is rapidly increasing day by day. But as more people move to live in urban centers, tension over land tenure between slum dwellers and municipal authorities often emerge. This is where the social tenure domain model STDM comes in. The current situation doesn't give land titles and uh, land rights to the urban poor. STDM is a better tool to use because it mainstreams the rights of the urban poor. STDM is an innovative, pro-poor, gender-responsive, participatory and affordable land information management system for capturing persons to land relationship developed by the Global Land Tool Network GLTN and facilitated by the UN Habitat. It is a socio-technical innovation that bridges the gap between land that is formally registered and land that is not registered. STDM, we are saying, we are depicting the person to land relationship be regardless of say formality or legal status. This is really capturing the prevailing information so that based on that information, the authorities are able to plan, are able to gradually improve the tenure security and so forth. In 2011, the STDM tool and process was introduced in Uganda, initially piloted in Bali Municipal Council to address land information requirements in urban poor settlements by the NGO Act Together and the National Slum Dwellers Federation of Uganda, working in partnership with the Municipality of Mbali, Slum Dwellers International, UN Habitat and the Global Land Tool Network. STDM is community friendly, it is a pro community tool whereby even me myself speaking when I was introduced to, I took five minutes on how to use the software, how to apply the software in terms of entering data, in terms of generating data, in terms of applying data, in terms of analyzing data, in terms of generating reports to make sure that the communities can access information. So it is actually a pro community tool. It doesn't need somebody to go to university for three years to study computer. What this tool does is it breaches the gap between communities and the central government or Mbali Municipal Council and other donors. SDM makes it easy so that when we make a report, we take it back down to the grassroots and it's easy for us to know what the people need and how we, how we shall be able to provide to them. And we, it also helps us in a way that we determine exactly what they need because they might be having very many needs but this helps us to determine which one is more, more of a necessity to them compared to the others. The social tenure domain model is simple and easy to learn. By the end of the pilot phase, slum dwellers in Bali were able to confidently use the tool to manage their information. They easily collected accurate and reliable information about their settlements, analyzed the data and generated quick reports to facilitate dialogue with municipal authorities to integrate their priorities in the municipal development plan. The main concerns of, of planning mainly in this municipal council are basically poor drainage system, security, uh, public toilets, mm, and then uh, housing system and you find that uh, such problems are brought about due to the tenure land system we have in place. For, for purposes of proper planning and decision making we still need the information so that we can integrate it in our plans for, for further advocacy because that tool is the one we need to advocate for further what, support. So in Mbaru we have used STDM data to get five water points, to get seven public toilets, and we have also got the security lights. We also constructed roads. And the same data was used by communities to link up with MDF to lobby for these projects. The second phase of the STDM project built on successes from Bali Pilot, focusing on capturing and sharing key lessons and experiences, providing technical assistance and building capacity to implement SDM with training and learning events in the municipalities of Entebbe, Masaka and Tororo. 
Data generated is shared with the community and municipal councils to assist in ranking community priorities. Building strong partnership is key in implementing a social tenure domain model. In Entebbe Municipal Council, scaling up of the social tenure domain model project was conducted in close collaboration with local communities, institutions of learning and the municipal council officials. So for us, we think that this is the right way to go. If we could roll these programs further, not only, only in Chibungu, but all other areas within Entebbe, I think it will give us better planning. We expect the data we collect with the STDM to be a base for the local authorities to use for decision making. And more so equipping the students, because we look at the students, uh, the people who can sell this idea out in the various sectors that they may end up getting employed in. I was involved in this activity under the organization of Act Together in order to, to carry out a physical development plan for Chigungu in Entebbe municipality. In Masaka and Toro municipal councils, the SDM program has helped slum dwellers identify their development priorities through participatory planning and consensus building with their municipal officials. We might be here in our offices and think for people, but if such as such an initiative comes which involves the beneficiaries, the elect on ground, to get to know their priorities, because you may think for them, what you may think that they need roads may be something else. We just got in our new structure plan approved, integrating all those issues, their problems and the cited solutions into our plan. I'm seeing a realization of our structure plan rather than it staying on paper. Once we take this route, we're going to sell structure plan being realized. To sustain the initiative, the National Slam Dwellers Federation of Uganda has established four data centers in Massacre. Tororo, Entebbe and Bali municipal councils with computers installed with the STDM software equipped with settlement data, furniture and with trained community data managers for periodical updates. So that data is going to help us in many ways. We are going to know what is lacking in this area of Naruwerere. We are going to know what services is, will the people want what is most urgent and how can we begin as a council. The National Slum Dwellers Federation of Uganda is currently working with 14 municipal development forums as a platform for integrating community priorities into municipal structural plans. The application of the social tenure domain model SDM in Uganda has demonstrated how to use local experience and insight to guide urban development.